Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Part brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, November 21st. Hope your morning is going well. Uh, we do got a lot of economic data to go over, so we're just going to jump right into it. We'll start off the weekly jobless claims we get every Thursday. So last week we had 227,000, or at least the report came in because these are always a week uh, in the past. Uh, 227,000 uh, people apply for unemployment. Forecast was calling for a little bit of a dip down to 218, and it came in at the same pace at 227,000. So, of course, this is something we're going to keep an eye on because anything that uh, every recession basically is job losses. So we want to watch to make sure if this is a be the beginning of job losses or if this is just kind of an anomaly where we get a couple higher numbers and then it'll kind of drop lower again in a couple weeks or whatnot. So this is something we'll keep our eyes on, uh, this jobless claims, uh, since it's been a little bit of a spike these last two weeks in a row. Uh, Philly Fed Index. This is the for the month of November. This is the manufacturing in the Philadelphia region, and manufacturing has been pretty rough lately. But this one uh, got a little bit of improvement. We had 5.6 in October, and 10.4 in November, so it improved to 10.4. Uh, we've been seeing like Chicago's been in uh, contraction, in negative territory for the last couple months. Uh, I think East uh, New York has had a couple months, but I think it was in positive this last time around. Uh, but so anyways, again, uh, manufacturer had a slight improvement, which is obviously good news. Now we'll get into existing home sales for the month of October. We had 5.36 annualized units, uh, existing home sales for the month of September. Forecast is supposed to increase by 110,000. So we had 5.47 forecast and the forecast came in at only 100,000. So 5.46 million. So not quite expectations, but they did go up uh, annualized units, so still good news right there. Last but not least, we got the leading economic indicators. So in September, it had a drop of 0.2%, uh, and October, it was showing a 0.1% drop. So this is something, of course, we want to keep an eye on because it does give us kind of a forecast of what the economy is going to be doing, and it is showing uh, by, these, by this report, it's showing that the economy is slowing down but at a gradual pace here. So let's kind of take a look here at the headline news. Stocks are down right now. Uh, and why? Uh, China, of course, is kind of head taking the headline news of, uh, for quite some time right now. Uh, but there's been some optimism, but there's some um, good and bad. Uh, there's some optimism because uh, the premier of Li Hu uh, invited uh, negotiators to come over to China. He was kind of painting an optimistic picture that things can get done, and he invited our negotiators to come over to, for face-to-face -face discussions. Reuters came out with a report saying that anything that gets completed won't roll out until 2020, so that kind of put a little bit of a drastic spin on it. But also there was a, a, house, a bill that got passed through for Hong Kong human rights uh, for through it passed both the state and the I'm sorry the Senate and the uh, House, and it's now going to sit on Trump's desk for uh, signature. That could put a wrench into any possible uh, negotiation, as China would view that as a, uh, interference in their domestic policies. So, again, uh, there's good and bad. They're invited us over to speak a little bit more, but they may not view um, our legislation uh, as a, as a positive here. So let's take a look here at the mortgage-backed securities, see what we're doing. We're down about two base points, so there's really not enough any changes here, but this uh, Fibonacci level is kind of important to watch. Uh, we're slightly below it, uh, so mortgage rates remain unchanged from what we saw yesterday. And then also um, yields. Uh, we started the morning much lower, but we're up a little bit. We're up at one point, uh, the 50-day moving average, and we're seeing about 1.76. So that's pretty much it. If you guys are looking to buy a refinance, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, if, if you're in California, I'd love to be able to talk to you guys. DM me or uh, email me is the best way to reach me. All right. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.